Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix no boot disk has been detected or the disk has failed error usually pops up when users try to boot up computer. It generally indicates that the boot configuration is incorrect or the boot disk is corrupt and hard disk damage. To fix the problem first you restart the computer then turn on the computer then press F2. To go to BIOS settings on your keyboard, when the BIOS settings come up, first you need to check if your hard drive is showing BIOS settings or not. To check, first go to the boot options menu bar. Then go to hard disk drive priority option and press enter on your keyboard. View hard disk drive priority option my hard drive is not showing up which means my hard drive is either bad or the SATA cable is bad or the SATA cable may be loose. Moreover many times this can be a problem for incorrect BIOS settings. To fix BIOS settings you need to first default BIOS settings then you need to go to exit menu bar. After coming to exit menu, come to load default settings and press enter, then click to OK button. After clicking OK button the computer will restart. After restarting your BIOS settings will be fixed. Check if your problem is fixed after restarting, if the same problem shows after default. BIOS settings, then check if the problem is coming from hard drive or SATA cable. To fix, first switch off the computer. Take out the CPU cabinet. Here the motherboard is open from the cabinet because it was a client's motherboard. Hardware problem so it's open this way. I have fixed the hardware problem of the motherboard, but this problem is showing after. Booting the computer. To fix this problem I will first try to change the SATA cable. The cause of the issue may be from your SATA cable, so I will change the new SATA cable to see if the problem is fixed or not. Connect the SATA cable to the hard drive first, then attach the SATA cable to any of the SATA ports on the motherboard. After doing this, turn on the computer by pressing the CPU power button. But in my case I have to turn on the computer power by starting because my motherboard is not connected to the CPU, so I will turn on the computer by shortening it with A screwdriver. After giving the computer display, see if the problem is showing or not, in maximum case. The problem is fixed. But in my case the problem is not fixed yet. But in your case changing the SATA cable can solve the problem, but in my case after. Changing the SATA cable the same problem is showing, so I will try to change the hard. Drive. Turn off the computer and replace the hard drive. There is a strong possibility that this problem might be caused by a failing HDD and SS. D, especially since the error message itself says that the boot disk may have failed. The easiest way to check whether or not an HDD and SSD is failing is to connect it to another already booted up computer and check to see whether or not you can successfully access its contents. However, if the HDD and SSD is still in warranty, you might want to send it back to the manufacturer to have it looked at just in case. Attach the new hard disk SATA cable and power cable. Follow the way I am installing the cable, then turn on the computer. After the computer is turned on, my settings are showing the hard disk before the BIOS. Setup open, I can see that before, but my hard drive was not showing, but now it is showing. That it means I had a hard disk problem. Continue by pressing F1 key on the keyboard your system will be turned on, as soon as you. Press F1 key, from this we realized that there was a problem with the hard disk. Even if there is a problem with your SATA cable, you need to realize it in a good way. You too can easily solve the problems in this way. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.